I get out before I drown? Okay. Um, in this underwater place, I am going to make a more. I'm going to make just basically a giant mine shaft, if you will. I'm going to get hurt again. Mm. I always wait just slightly too long. Uh, this is taking a long time. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the beginning of what I'm going to do. This is for my minecart to go down. And for me just to walk down. It also serves as a starting point. Shit. I'm taking too long again. Uh, because, um... Once you start such a thing, it gets a lot easier as you just go on. So now I have it started, and then what we're going to do is now we're going to take our lovely, lovely glass, and we're going to make a... an Archie McBob. So I can just go BAM. And now we're just going to just basically head straight down with that. Yeah, when I'm going here... Oh uh, yeah, I need more glass. Because I'm just gonna, put two, I'm just gonna make a glass hallway down. So I, I love making underwater places with glass, just because it looks awesome. Because you can see all the water around you. It just looks cool. So I have like another 15 minutes, I think. I guess you guys, because this would probably be like the start of a new video or something. I don't know. But you guys can probably not watch and not miss anything extremely cool. Because I'm just gonna be building shit. Which I guess is cool in itself. It's just a lot of people, I don't know, might not like it. Okay. I'll be able to show you guys the beginning. Do I have any dirt? Shit, you need, you really want dirt for this. But, um... Hold on, I have to think quick. I want it to be too high here. Which here. Then down here. I think I need to smack that there. I think I need one more piece of glass. Oh shit. No wait, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more glass for the other construction. But for now, I have enough to accomplish the basic part of it. So I think I have, yeah, I have like another half stack. Okay, then we're going to board this up with, not boards, but rocks rather. We're going to need to go grab dirt. I'll just, gra I'll just make some. I'll clear off. Oh, shit. Hey. Uh, dang it. I'm taking like three hearts of damage. This is what I'm talking about. I was building that thing. He, he didn't have sneak implemented yet, so I died all the freaking time. I'm still going to need to build a giant wall around this entire freaking thing. So I'm going to keep that dirt there because that's going to be part of my wall. But I'm going to destroy this dirt. You don't need that much dirt because you're going to reuse a lot of what you make. So just grab like, I don't know, however much I have is adequate, 21. I figured I'd want around 20. But um, it's almost night time. I guess when it's night time I'll stop. And then I'll continue this outside of video, and I'll start my next thing when I get back. So what you do is, um... And now the water's gone. So 
So basically you just continue this. So, because when you put a block there, it eliminates the source block that's there. Because, like, the dirt takes precedence. So, you can essentially eliminate all of the source blocks. Now, you just do this. It takes a while, but. We're almost at the end. I hope I made this thing tall enough. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to destroy some of this glass, which is gonna make me a sad panda. Okay, so that's the bottom of like the lake. So I want to see if this works even. It's getting dark. Okay, um... Ah, uh, let's do that. I just want to see if this will work with my minecart. Because I'm ready to use redstone to make the rest. Perfect! Exquisite. Let us get out of here before night comes. So there you have it. That's my beginning tunnel. I'm basically just going to do the same procedure, but for an entire building underwater. Once you get a foothold underwater, it becomes substantially easier, because then you don't have to swim all the way to the surface to get breath. Which is nice. Um, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna, actually, I have time still. I have, like, ten-ish minutes, I think. So I'm gonna show you guys what redstone can do. Because I'm gonna need to, because I'm gonna have two different tracks. What the deal is gonna be is that I'm going to have. Fuck you. You wanna do this? You don't wanna do this. Are you some type of insane creeper? Are you, are you kidding me? Bring it. I like how my one place is still, like, all nice and lit up. I got a, quite a bit of gunpowder. I love TNT. TNT is such a nice thing. Yeah. By the way, I made a, um... I think I made it. Okay, I was going to put a bucket of lava in here. And this was going to be my lava incinerator that I could dump stuff in, such as what's something semi-useless. This flint is already have so much. Just Q to drop stuff, so I just throw it in there. Bam, it's gone. I could do that with all the gravel in here, but I want to make a giant gravel tower of Babel or something. Well, let's grab my redstone I brought here. Yeah, looks good. So, redstone. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, there we go. I'm going to show you. You guys can cook stone. If you cook stone, you get like the natural looking stone. My god, all these... Oh, there's more glass. Wonderful. I have so much coal. I have, like, 12 stacks. 12 complete stacks of coal. I have, like, 800 coal. What the hell is wrong with me? But, um... I just wanted two of them. Really. I'll leave the rest in there just because. But, um... You can make a button. This is a stone button. That I will want to use. But, um... I shall make a room here... This would be my experiment room. Not really a room. It's kind of a... Eh. I don't really feel like digging out an entire room. I just need to find some place to do something. I'll just do it along this hallway. But... Yeah. Say... I... Actually, I'm going to use it with my door. Say, I have this door, right? And I don't want to actually, like, click on it. I want to, like... I want to be able to, like, open it from over here, right? Well, that's kind of a stupid spot. I want to open it from right here. Right here stone button. 
But um, I could just put the stone button right there, and it opens. See? It does this because the stone block essentially provides, we'll call it electricity, but it's not really electricity. But it provides power to the door, which causes it to open. So, say I want to open it from here. Redstone can form a wire. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, can't break that with my fist. Am I insane? But, um... Yeah, okay. So, I put redstone... I'm gonna clear out some of this because I want to get that rock. I'm gonna need that. But um, so you see, it travels down. It's like minecarts in that way. And we go, and we get it right there. And I don't think this is gonna work because redstone's kind of tricky. But I click it, and it opened. So. Except right now it's not permanent. So I think we're gonna have to do something with a redstone torch. Redstone torches are redstone torches. So you see, this provides power to the door. And now when I flick this the button. Okay. A button was not the best idea because buttons are only temporary power. I want a lever. A lever. What the fuck? You dick. Get out of here. I guess they can get up here. I don't think they were smart enough. You punks. Oh, that's troublesome. Well, for now, I'm going to board this up so that doesn't happen. So there, now they can't get in. But I should only have four minutes. You see, it's the redstone torches provide power continuously. And what we want to do is we want to make a. Should I did that wrong? How do you make? It might be stone. Stone. You need to make a stone lever. Shit. Oh well. That's not that big a deal. So let's try it with real stone. How do you make a stone lever? I'm trying to remember. Oh, the stone would be on the bottom. There. I was trying to put it on top. Dang it. How do you make a lever? Where the hell is that skull thing beeping at? He's like right below me, I think. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot how to make a lever. There! That's how you make a lever. Okay. So levers. Smack it there. Now the door is open. And now the door is closed. So I'll just keep that there for fun. Why not? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna perform basically a similar thing. When you attach it to a minecart, it will connect, it basically switches tracks, so that I can press, I'm gonna have it so set up a button from a distance that I'll hit as I'm running by. I'll be going by and let's be like, boom. And in my minecart, I'll be doing that on this smack it, that'll switch to minecart tracks, so I can either go under my, underwater or towards here from my main base, or vice versa. So, I don't know, that kind of took a, that was a long demonstration because I suck, but... I hope you get the idea of redstone, it's kind of cool. It's not a necessity, but it's just fun to have. So, um, yeah, um, I'm basically done, so I'll see you guys next time with my completed underwater house. So, good day.